to Jordan Eang. He ain't got the zealous in the air. He drives, he floats, and he scores. And he got tackled on the play. Nice move by George Nian. He's got his shoe in his hand. Porter trying to defend Smith inside. The Bulls recognize the mismatch, and Smith lays it in as George gets his footwear back together. Porter. George like, don't pass to me. He did anyways. George had to drop his shoe. Gives it to Merrill. Picks his shoe back up. George inserting his foot into the shoe as Tyson fires his first three. Thor with those long arms. Rescues the possession. Goes to a wide open Merrill. Here's Porter who got a hand on it. Eventually it's Nia who couldn't squeeze it. Now Thor. Porter's open. He'll drive. Deal to Merrill. Merrill fires. Rebounded by Porter. Porter, a terrific rebounding guard. Four for three. Hey! Knocks it down. Oh, Thor stepped in. That's a beautiful looking jump shot that young man's got. Stroke that thing. Craig Porter doing what he does, and that's keeping activity and aggression going during the possession. What a sequence that was. A number of second chance opportunities. It ends up in the hands of JT Thor. that and he said he could not wait for tonight to see the fan base get his face out there look John and I have had so many opportunities to talk to him this past week and he's just such a great guy he's terrific as advertised you know Mark Madsen his coach at Cal raved about this guy and rightfully so Mark the first longtime veteran the Lakers and Minnesota as well uh, he had great things to say, and so far everything's proven true. Yeah, just got to get his minutes, go figure out what your spot is, where you fit in, where you can maximize your, your talents. How do you add to what's already got you? Know, want to be a tremendous basketball team. What's your, what's your, what's your role in that? Yep. That's what you got to figure out. Find that niche yep. as the trailer is Niang. Long rebounds grabbed by Horton Tucker. What's the first thing you think of when you hear Mark Madsen? What do you think of well, the, the post celebration? No doubt about it. Right? The dance? 100%. <laughs> Here's Horton Tucker. He drives, Shaq lays it up, and like lays it in. Crazy. <laughs> you know what we found, by the way? When Mark Madsen was a Laker, a young Serena Winters was covering the Lakers. Really? And there is footage of Serena and Mark Madsen dancing together. <laughs> it was uncovered, yeah. I got to see that. At camp. That As is awesome. Porter works his way inside. The foul is deemed on the floor, so no basket. 9.41 to go here in the fourth. Serena was sensation. Well, she should have seen the move. Yeah. Yeah. John, I, I showed you that in confidence. Oh, in yeah. confidence. Oh, Come on now. Oh, right. Come on now. <laughs> there was no confidence whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> it was displayed all over our, our preseason show. As Jenny. here's Sam okay. Merrill firing a three. It was t fantastic, though, Serena. The fact that he, the fact that he actually did it on command while you were interviewing him was a testament to Says your. Says a lot. Yeah. yeah <laughs> was a testament to your interviewing skills. That's because I danced something. first to get him going. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's it's a what testament to your. Does. Right. That's. I've got to see <laughs> Anything this. for the fans, Brad. You don't need to see it. Okay. See it. You oh, don't need to see it. You'll be seeing it. Was it a twerk off? Was it one of those deals? <laughs> I got to see this. There was no, I, I'm happy to report there was not a single no twerk going on. No. Okay. None right. by Serena, none by Mark. Okay. 915 to go. Yeah. Well, you know, I always get excited whenever I see Craig Porter come in from last, you know, just from last season. Uh, here's a guy that just comes in off of G League team, gets his opportunity, and boy, did he make the most of it. And, uh, He's got himself positioned in that where he can play some minutes, significant minutes for this cat. He did last year anyway, uh, but showed that his, he's very valuable to this team in so many ways. Just happy for that young man. I want to see him continue to grow. Porter appeared in 51 games, made six starts. He's on a two-way contract. Had that converted in mid-February, rightfully so. I mean, he bailed the Cavs out when he Darius did. Garland was injured. And remember, Ty Jerome played only two games. Ty Jerome was slated to be the backup point guard. Remember the Philly games? That Philly, he was fantastic. All of a sudden, the Cavs had a hole at yes. that point guard spot. And just as quickly, that hole was filled by number nine. Did a great job. Porter Jr. Earned his opportunity. Porter, Niang, Merrill, Thor, 
and Tyson are on the floor. Good reaction by Tyson to poke that ball out of bounds. Jalen spent one season at Texas, one at Texas Tech, and last season at Cal. And there's that quickness, good anticipation. Almost got that one. Terry to the foul line. Tucker left it short. Chris Duarte tips. Loose ball in the air. Duarte was acquired in the DeRozan deal as he zealous fires a three. Nian corrals the loose ball. If you're in the game, you know this is just at this moment, you're trying to do something to get coaches' attention so you can earn some minutes. Zealous leaks out. Zealous. Young Cavs players, you need to do that. Like, so you want to go out, play hard, be explosive, make some exciting plays. Have coach talking about you tomorrow in that film session. Don't let the ball come to you. You step to the ball. Long cross court pass was deflected. It's a good look at. Manas Buzelis. Like what I see in here. A lot of potential. Part of that youth movement started over the summer. This roster certainly got younger as Thor has to track it down near midcourt. He'll hand off the Porter. Porter does a lot of things well as he'll find Niang. Niang to the paint. His 10 foot floater is true. Well, Craig is, is very versatile on both ends of the floor. Horton Tucker inside, somehow snuck it off the window and in as we get a look at another one of the Cavs' two-way players and Luke Travers. Travers and Thor are both on two-way contracts along with Imani Bates. Travers, who has played professionally in Australia over the last couple of seasons, coolly banks and scores. Nice post-up move by Travers, a nice little drop step, very fundamentally sound in that move. Very nice and good pass by Kirk Porter. Getting a little bounce pass only where Travers can catch it. Travers played the last eight seasons, or five seasons, I should say, at home in the Australian Basketball League. Last season with Melbourne United, the previous four seasons with Perth. Played Summer League a couple of years ago with the Cavs as Porter to the basket had that rejected. You know, Australia has 10 of those deadliest animals on the planet. I did not. Yeah. Ten. Yeah, maybe twelve. Hmm. Very cool. like snakes, spiders, scorpions. I mean, you just a myriad of ways they can take you out. Not even to mention the crocodile. It's crazy over there. We'll talk more about that when we come back as the Australian Travers twists and scores. <laughs> talk to him about that. <laughs> And a half. Those you can't go anywhere but up. Those are your win. futures. Two courtesy games, of yeah. FanDuel. Expecting big things at the JV Victor staff. Yeah, I'm right. JB's gonna have those guys ready to play. They'll play hard on the defensive end too. Boy. They'll, they'll defend. The Travers Banks and scores. You think about it in terms of what JB did with this franchise. That seems to be a an, yeah. an excellent setup oh, for will, JB to step into. He'll right build now. them. He'll take them to the next level quickly. You know, Kate Cunningham and those guys will. He'll give, them, he'll give them the pieces to be successful. Jaylen. And they'll defend on each, you know, they're going to be much better. Sorry, Brad. Jalen Tyson down the lane. He draws the foul. Foul number 25. Travers inside as, and it almost sounds funny to say it's a nice situation for JB to walk into with the team that had only won 14 games last season. But again, they're at that stage where yeah. they're trying to look to put something together. And they do have some young, strong pieces, starting with Cade Cunningham. They do. They've revamped the front office, revamped the coaching staff. And He's the guy. JB, JB has a clean JB slate will do to work. A great with. job. He'll do a great job. No doubt about it. Especially whenever they play the Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. The home opener. Yep. That Friday night. And here's Chris Duarte. His pass picked off by Travers. Travers made a real nice play to keep it in bound. Gets the ball back. Finds Thor. Thor throws it down. Nice play by the Cavaliers. Good unselfish play by Travers. Put himself in good position to be a conduit. Make that pass. I like to see Thor throw that body down. He's long and tall. I want to see him use that length. More while he's playing. Jules Bernard has checked in, the second year man out of UCLA with the rebound. He has the basketball. He wears the green shoes out here tonight as Bernard steps back. His shot is blocked as Phillips got a piece of it. Phillips dunks. So Bernard's out here with Porter, Tyson, Thor, and Travers. Saw good instincts out of Travers. Tyson. Penetrates, deals back to Porter. That pass goes through his hands and out of bounds. 
defensive instincts, Brad Doherty. Yeah, great job of Travis ste stepping into that passing lane, watching that basketball. He was in good defensive position. That gave him a chance to step across and intercept that. And then I saw Craig Porter make a super pass there on the offensive end. And Tyson just couldn't quite hold on to the ball. Thor will deal to Travers. Travers lost the handle. Goes right into the hands of Chris Duarte. Duarte to the foul line. Sends it to the corner. A three on the way is off the mark as Dalen Terry can't hit. The ball ends up out of bounds. The officials compare notes. And we will have a jump ball. From Jalen Tyson on that. I, the thing I like about him, he, he really competes. Look at him. He's boxing out right here. Look at it. Look at it. He's putting a body on that guy. Not giving up on that play. I like that from Tyson. It's Adama Sanogo who was being held on to by Tyson. So Sanogo and Thor will step to the center circle. Thor spent the last three seasons with Charlotte, playing 165 games during that span. He's so long and rangy, good athlete, explosive. Just got to put the pieces together to be fundamentally you know, consistent. Thor does. But. Definitely an NBA basketball player, no doubt about it. Duarte will shoot free throws. JT Thor represented South Sudan at the Paris Olympics last summer, and you want to talk about just a wonderful story. You know, there were no indoor basketball facilities in South Sudan. Luol Dang, uh, he was in charge of the program for NBA or Royal Ivy, was the head coach of the team. Four years ago, they took 25 guys to nearby Rwanda for their first training camp because there are no indoor basketball facilities in South Sudan. This team goes to the Olympics. They gave the U.S. all they could handle, and it took they lost by only one point to the U.S. a couple of weeks before Paris. Went to the Olympics, won their first game over Puerto Rico. And again, we're talking about a country with very little to work with. Yeah. Right? And the story was a beautiful one. It was. And it played out so well for this nation and this basketball team. And hats off all the way around. Uh, really one of the best stories to come out of the Paris Olympics in any sport. Yeah, just, just about will and determination and uh, opportunity. Whatever that opportunity looks like, making the most of it. And it was fun to watch. They, like I said, they about beat us. Lou Dang funded the program from his own pocket. I mean, South Sudan was recruiting players who had family connections to the country, but were forced to play in other nations because they didn't have a program. Wow. And this was a mere couple of years ago. We're not talking about 20, 30 years ago. Just remarkable. And then they go to Paris. They qualify for Paris. First off, the highest ranking African country during the qualifiers in the uh, FIBA World Cup. And then they go on and beat Puerto Rico in the Group C opener. It was. It was what really special. Yeah, it was really success. special to watch. Heartwarming. JT himself didn't play basketball until the seventh grade. Wow. Wow. And here he is in the NBA. Had some success in Charlotte over the last three seasons, trying to make this Cavalier team. He signed on as a two-way player. Made the team. He's trying to earn some rotation minutes. Yeah, yeah, JT. that's what you're doing. And, and you take these opportunities, like I say, you make some splashes, make things happen. Like you saw George Niang there. Every time he touched that basketball, he was trying to make something happen offensively. So that's what you want to do. You want to get on the back of the coach's mind. And here is Thor on cue to the basket. Couldn't quite throw it down. He thought he got fouled as Duarte was back there who got a hand up. How about this? There's the reaction. He sliced between two of the Bulls. Did he get fouled? Hmm. Wow. Yeah. The crowd got a look at the Humongatron, <laughs> and you hear the reaction. <laughs> Our crowd's in midseason. I love right? it. They're yeah. already mad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a building this was to play in last season. Really has been over the last handful of seasons, but the last two or three have really been special. It was rocking last year. <laughs> this building on some cold nights. It was mighty hot in here. Tyson for three. You think back to that game seven win over Orlando. Game that seemed to be going south. It was done, quickly. man. I was sitting there. I was like, "Oh my goodness, we're gonna get blown, we're getting blown out at home. It's over." And all of a sudden, come back, go in. If I get your minds right, Terry, Terry down the lane. A block is called. 
check that Tyson, I should say, down the lane. So Jalen will shoot free throws. Don't sleep on the Orlando Magic when you're trying to handicap the East. That's true. This season. That team is going to be the same team that we saw at the end of last season. Plus, you had Contavious Caldwell Pope. He fits in perfectly. Who, right. Who happens to be the perfect piece. He is the perfect piece for that team. I, that is true. They are going to be You can talk about what the yeah. Magic needed. Maybe a little it. extra in that series against the Cavs. They needed, oh, Contavious Caldwell Pope. They had him. A player of that ill. Yes. Right? I mean, that's. Defensively, can you imagine? I mean, he and Suggs, a guy who can hit a three. I mean, a guy who yes. stands out there can hit a three. A yes. veteran presence. Yes. Just, yeah. Geez. That Magic team's going to be fun to watch. They're going to be highly competitive, which they are. They already had a little attitude. And the Wagner yeah. boys, you know. And they're all young. I mean, they're all young. As Travers to the basket, Orton Tucker got a hand out. That's goal 10. They count the basket for Tyson. Two point basket for Jalen yeah, Tyson. Man. It's going to be fun. Tyson's first NBA preseason field goal. We're going to see the ball on us down where White the zealous gets hit with a goaltending call. Every night in the, in the Eastern Conference, every night, it's going to be a battle. Who's zealous to the basket, Horton Tucker with the follow. A lot of good clubs we talked about. Obviously, Boston, Milwaukee, the top of the pack, Philadelphia has been talked about, New York talked about, Orlando's in the mix. Tyson again to the basket. He's been aggressive here in this fourth quarter, and that ball sails out of bounds and will stay with the Cavs. What will, what will Miami look like? Pat Riley's challenged Jimmy Butler. You could never count out Miami, it nope. seems. Nope. Four will give to Porter. Back it goes to Thor inside. This time he throws it down. Nice basketball play by Craig Porter. Wrapped around, made a nice little bounce pass. The defense is kind of going in two different directions. Perry flips it up as another follow. This time it's Julian Phillips who banks and scores. Last two minutes of play, fourth quarter. Thor has his long arms right around the rim. He's so long, absolutely. He gets his feet under him. He gets his balance steady. He's so long, so athletic. And he could just by putting his hands up be a, a deterrent on that basketball court. When he was signed as a two-way player, that was one of those ooh signings. Yeah. The, oh, JT Thor can play. You know, as a two-way. Yeah. Yeah. Signed as a two-way here with the Cavs. So again, great to have JT in camp. See if he can make some waves as this season progresses. For Tucker and a smaller Porter back to Phillips who spots up for a three and it's rebounded by Tyson. It's a six point game. Bernard to the basket. He got fouled by Horton Tucker. Nice fast break opportunity for the Cavaliers. Tyson made the right play. Good job from that basket. Nice and hard. Bernard, good job. See Bernard gets out. You spread the floor. Give him an angle to pass the ball. There's the foul. Right. Tucker puts a body on him. You know Tyson's a scoring threat. He scored the most points last season at Cal since that program has. It's back during the 12-13 season. Nice job leading the break there, hitting the open man, and yeah. Bernard draws the foul. Good look there at Horton Tucker. He's in his sixth season out of uh, Iowa State. Spent his first three with the Lakers, the last two in Utah. Heading over here to the east. Looking to pick up some minutes with the Chicago team as Orton Tucker will deal and find Buzelis. 80 seconds to go. Terry to the basket, rejected by Thor. Nice recovery by Thor. He got beat on the defensive end and recovered into a nice position. Use that length we talked about. Bernard for three. Looking to trim that Bulls lead to one. Bernard's got a good looking shot, though. That shot hadn't gone down tonight a couple times, but he's got a good looking rhythm. Bernard was with the Wizards last season on a two way, played 19 games in the NBA. And that was the defense of Tyson on display as Dorce ended up on his wallet. Porter inside and a double clutch. A loose ball ends up toward the wing. Thor tracks it down back to Porter. Porter gets his own rebound, has his head up, shovels to Tyson. Tyson loops it up and in, and it's a two point game. Great hustle by the Cavaliers, just keeping that ball alive, giving himself a chance. Terry was being hounded, and Terry gets fouled. Cavaliers fouls at number nine, 
Junior. Thor gets beat. That length we talked about. Where you can't teach height. <laughs> Great job hustling back. Nice job. Tyson getting in the middle there, getting earning that bucket. And he like seven rebounds by the rookie Tyson here in this fourth quarter it. alone. I love the aggressiveness, the defensive mentality. That's Tristan Thompson from the rookie to the Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> let's do this. I love talking to you and Austin about those in-season tournaments. In-season tournaments. That to some, they don't make a lot of sense until the yeah. until the $1 million is brought up, the prize, and then yeah. it suddenly it makes, makes, a lot of makes sense. some sense. Yeah. yeah. It makes it very clear. I don't think broadcasters get paid the $1 million. No. That's should not should the Cavs win? No. I don't think you're going to be sharing in that no. this year. No, no. Unfortunate, but it will be fun. That be takes fun. place early in the season. Yeah, the Lakers, Lakers were the first chance of the in-season tournament. Cavs gave it a run. Yep, they did. They did. Cavs huddling up with 33 seconds to go. Serena was down there. What do you have, Serena? I mean, Donovan Mitchell was communicating that time out, saying, "Hey, look." You've got to space the floor. Don't run on top of each other. There are still a lot of guys on the court that can shoot right now, so make sure you space. Let's see if they listen. Off we go. Cavs down two. Horton Tucker looks to drive. He's off balance. He missed the shot as Thor defended. Here's Bernard of the Cavs. There's a three-second difference between shot clock and game clock around Duarte to the bucket. He lost the ball. Tyson got his hand in there, knocked it away. Last off Duarte. Duarte wants a challenge. Tyson made a really nice play as Duarte had secured it. Is Billy Donovan going to challenge? Couldn't tell by that angle. So Duarte has the ball. Tyson reaches in. No, I think that hit yeah, Duarte that last. Hit, hit I think Duarte. that ball was still on his wrist. Yep, I agree. So we have a timeout on the floor, and I don't even think Billy's going to challenge this. He does have one remaining. He took a challenge earlier in this ball game and won it. So Donovan still has one at his disposal, but I have a feeling that his assistant saw what we saw. And no. So we don't need one That's here, Billy. That's out on Duarte, yep. Let's hit the Cavs to draw something up. Hit a big three win this basketball game. So because Duarte grabbed possession, the shot clock reset, then it was knocked out of bounds, so the shot clock will be off. 17 seconds remain in regulation. Bulls 114, Cavs 112. Then if Betty draws up a three here, can 17 seconds to go. So we'll see it. Some of the two-way guys, some of the camp invitees. And this man, Jalen Tyson, the lone rookie on this Cavalier roster. Kenny Atkinson gets a chance to draw things up. He said he relished these opportunities in the preseason to work on the out of timeout plays yeah, yeah, that's when you're coaches, late in games. Yeah, right. This is a great opportunity for coaches to, to figure out some things, make some mistakes, learn through experiences so you can apply it come, come to regular season. So will be Travers, two inbound, he'll find Porter. Shot clock off, Cavs down two. Porter, stutter steps, backs up, he takes his time. Five seconds left, Craig Porter for three in the lead. Foul is go, the tenth of a second remaining. Greg Porter was looking to fire, had to do so over the lengthy 6'10", uh, Modest Buzelis. He got hit. Let's see here. Craig goes up to shoot it. Buzelis. Yeah, got him. So Terry to shoot the free throws. If you are wondering, that is not a challengeable situation yeah. when no foul was called. You can't stop play and say, I want to challenge or go back in time and say, I want to take a look at that. That is a situation where the coach cannot use his coach's challenge. And we will not be seeing overtime tonight, but all told, Brad. I think this is a successful preseason number one. No question about it. Yeah, I yeah. thought I thought the, the starters played significant minutes and, and played cohesively. And I like the movement. I think this is a great start. Đó cho em và một ngày nào đó, anh sẽ mua cho em một bố quận Audi EP bang Moise ACS. 
anh xe biên em cho ve thanh con người. Khu va bài kiểm tra chỉ mới bắt đầu. Khu cháu vậy, theo ta lên núi, đã qua bài kiểm tra chưa ạ? À? Ha ha đâu mình cũng đang choáng váng chân mình đã NUA quá mệt rồi. Mình cây âu thế đi I N O I N U A. Ha ha, V kép V kép V kép lần này, ta sẽ không đợi đến bình mình đâu. Từ đây, cậu sẽ phải tự đi xuống núi, ngôi nhà của ta ở dưới đó. Ha ha gì đờ ha ha ê. Và mình vân nhớ được mũi của ông chú U A O K O D A K I để thôi. Khứu gạch dưới rác của mình Red Dot. Vậy là mình phải đến được ngôi nhà đó trước khi mặt choi MOCU. Ha 